What's good, fam? What's going on? I want to try something a little bit differently today. It's 2024. This is my second video of 2024, so I want to try something a little different. And this time I'm coming from not behind the desk. So yeah, this time I will basically be talking about reasons I like and reasons I dislike American Express as an issue. If you like this video format, please let me know. I know it might be a little bit jarring that you don't see me behind a desk. You see me with glasses on, but yeah. Let's get into the video. So one of the first things that I really like about American Express is honestly the reason that I decided to go with them, at least as my main car for now, is because of the wide amount of transfer partners. Now, there's no, um, sorry, let me cross this shoe real quick. But yeah, it is no secret that I am part of Team Travel. I'm gonna show you the shirt right here. Oh, that's, that's not the shirt. Hold on, we'll see the shirt. Got the team travel right there. Yep. Hold up. Yeah, well, you can barely see it, but yeah, we have team travel there. Anyways, um, so yeah, what, one of the things I really like about them is a wide number of transfer partners. So again, you have the exclusive ones, like you have Delta. That's like one of their main exclusive ones. Um, you also have other ones like uh, Qantas and whatnot. Not, sorry, not Qantas. Um, what's the name of the airline? Oh, Qatar. Qatar Airways, yes. So, yeah, so the, these different ones, you have like ones like that, that I like. Um, and yeah, it's just a lot of different players you can you can choose from. And it's not just that you can choose from these different players. It's more than just you can choose from these different players. The main thing I like about it is that, especially once you get more into the points and miles type of game, you realize that just because an airline is not with American Express does not mean that you cannot use the points from that airline. Um, sorry, use points from American Express for that airline. Let me, let me give you an example. Hold on. Bro, I continue to slip over here. But yeah, let me get back to what I was talking about before in terms of points and Amex having some of the most, tra having the most transfer partners. So you don't, just because a transfer partner is not with Amex does not mean that you can't use American Express points to transfer them. So I'll give you, give you an example. Um, I love flying JetBlue, like I've told people more, multiple times. I have a JetBlue card, uh, all the works. But there are times that my JetBlue points don't go as far as they would if they were Amex points. I'm sorry, uh, if they were some other type of points. Um, be, mainly because JetBlue has the dynamic pricing, you can't really get the best value out of that but the key here is recently uh, i believe is uh, uh qatar uh cutter airways basically they now have a partnership with JetBlue where you can basically use cutter points or cutter obvious points to book with uh, a jet blue flight now it's a little murky about exactly how you can book these flights just now but that is a process something that you can use for example i can also can't book united flights with amex points but I can uh, tra transfer them to Avianca. Avianca can be used for um, United miles, uh, sorry, United flights and stuff like that. So there are ways you can use um, American Express points to book other uh, carriers. So don't think just because you have American Express MR points, it's only you can only use them for um, the for the different uh, carriers, sorry, for different transfer parts they have on there. If you're able to like learn about which partners work with which partners, you're able to now use your Amex points for uh, they go farther than you originally thought they would go. But yeah, that is uh, one of my main reasons I really enjoy flying, or sorry, I really enjoy using American Express cards. So one of the things, I think the number one thing that I do not like about American Express has to be, I think it's for close for everybody, is the pop-up jail. Now, pop-up jail, for anybody who does not know, basically you um, apply with American Express and you get the... A, you can you can get a car, but you won't get the walking bonus. And for a lot of people, that is where the needle really moves. The walking bonus is where you get most of your um, your main value from. At least for people who can't really use the multipliers. So the, the fact that like they have the pop up shell there <laughs> is really freaking annoying to me. The route that I'm going right now is not the most scenic route. I actually wanted to be in Midtown. Midtown. That's where I wanted to be today. But maybe another day, people actually like me going around doing stuff like this and not just me sitting behind my desk and talking. Um, let me know. Let me know. You know, I'll, I'll definitely be happy to do a little bit more of uh, JP outside. 
So yeah, let's uh, let's get back to the um, let's get back to the list. Another thing I don't like about Amex, um, and this one is a little bit more nitpicky to me, honestly, is I don't like that I can only see 100 Amex offers. That annoys the hell out of me. No cap. That annoys the hell out of me. Now, yes, there are things like Max Rewards that allows you to see um, or to you know basically click up all your um, different coupons with Amex reward, or sorry, with Amex offers and whatnot. But I shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't have to, you know, if I have more offers than 100, let me see all of the offers that I have. I shouldn't have to click on certain ones and then free up space, or I shouldn't have to get something like Max Rewards to free up some oh, space. Guys. Sorry, that was, that was pretty cool. I just wanted to take a look at that. But anyways, yeah. You, I shouldn't need something like Max Rewards to get the full benefit out of a service that you provide. Um, I knock on other companies like Bank of America and Chase with their offers because their offers really aren't as tailor-made as the Amex offers. But at least I can see all of them. It's not that many, but at least I can see all of them. And Amex offers doesn't really doesn't really give you that opportunity. So I think if they allow it to where I can see all of my offers and not just the first hundred, because honestly, on top of that, you're not really seeing all hundred. What you're seeing is what you're seeing basically is uh, those plus little promotions that they put in, in, in between. So yeah, I, or maybe you do see all hundred. I don't know. I gotta check that out again. But yeah, it's not. I'm not a fan at all. Let's keep moving. I was going to go to that way over there, but the gate's locked. So we're not going to go that way. We're going to go this way, um, way behind me. Um, and yeah, we're going to do that instead of going back the other direction. Okay, back to the video. It is so quiet out here. It is super quiet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end off by talking about the last reason that I really like American Express, and uh, that is because of Rakuten. Now, I'm sure you've heard, or probably have heard, if you haven't, welcome to Credit Card YouTube, but uh, about the, about the uh, value that you can get from Rakuten. You can get a lot of value from Rakuten. I truly believe I've been using Rakuten for about two years now. I think I have over, I gained over 52,000 52, points, maybe even more than that, in my time uh, using Rakuten. And it's literally on things I was on the purchase anyway. So anyway, let's back up about that. The reason I love uh, American Express is because of their partnership with Rakuten. Now, if you don't know, American Express, if you link your American Express MR earning card with Rakuten, you're now able to earn MR points or membership rewards points instead of earning cash back, which is Rakuten's main way of giving you um, giving you rewards, giving you uh, money back, pretty much. And basically, if you're if you're earning two percent cash back, that now turns into two X, which is great. And those that two X now be leveraged for more than two percent cash back if you catch my drift. But the reason I like this, and the reason I think it's a great thing with American Express, is because it does not matter the MR card that you're using. Let me say it again. It does not matter the MR card that you are using. Now, let's say you do not have, um, you don't want to spend a lot of money on the platinum card or a card like the gold or a card like the green, stuff like that. Let's say you just want to get the most, you know, zero annual fee, everyday card. The thing about it is, and the thing, actually the thing I did, you can link the everyday card with Rackets. That allows you to earn MR points. But on top of that, let's say you're just doing your normal shopping. You're, you're, uh, you want to shop through Expedia. You want to shop through Booking.com for your for your travel. Okay, now you're booking your hotel with Rakuten, and you're getting those uh, those those three X, those six X um, from Rakuten. Now again, you have to wait a few months to get the points back. But the fact that you can link an Amex card with Rakuten and earn MR points without actually having the annual fee to me is a crazy thing. It is a, a really really pretty cool. 
So this is one of the more newer things that Amex is implementing. And um, this is the actual uh, tier system they have or the tier list they have for their um, a lot of their cars, either mainly the, uh, the, the, gold, the gold and the platinum are the two main ones for this. So basically what this time basically mean that um, if you have the platinum card and you apply for the gold, you can't get the walking bonus on the gold if you already have the platinum. Um, and they're doing it for some of their other co-branded cards. I don't think this is on the green at this moment, but these are things that Amex is doing. And listen, as a person who like basically has been living and breathing credit cards for the past maybe almost two years now, um, this isn't affecting me. I, I, I could personally care less about this. I hope the sounds around me aren't too loud, but I could care less about this problem. The problem mainly is for people who are not into credit cards as much as me or maybe even you. Um, a, lot, a lot of those individuals who don't really know that, oh, I want to get the platinum because it is the biggest card and then realize that, oh, I can't get his, I can't get the gold goes welcome offer, and I I, I think it's a, it's a piss poor decision from Amex to do this to people, um, especially people who don't really know too much about credit cards. It's kind of like a gotcha, it's kind of like a gotcha moment. Now this is this is more nitpicky, and we'll see how it works over over time because it does say may not receive, um, but just like having that language in there to begin with, just kind of like turns me off from Amex and like the we're after going again. This is a newer change that they're making so i can't i don't really have too much to say about it but overall i don't think it's a change for the better maybe for them in terms of their book sheet but in terms of for me in terms of customer experience uh i think it's a piss poor decision but yeah guys that is it for me here hope you enjoyed the video and until next time peace